I tell y'all all the time, mm-hmm. the easiest way to keep your own peace is to not disturb the peace of others. Mm-hmm. Uh, I disturbed that woman's peace, and that wasn't my intention. So I apologize if my words made her feel that way. Find out have you heard. My man Charlemagne the God, he was slammed for being fat phobic after having a week talking about Risa Tisa and referring to her as a big back. Now, I listened to The Breakfast Club, so I kind of heard this play out in live action. Um... I'm going to start this off by saying Charlemagne the God did not call Risa Tisa a big bat. When Jess Hilarious, who's neutral breakfast club, was telling the story about Risa Tisa, which I'll tell you about in a second, Charlemagne said her behavior was big back behavior. He hadn't seen a picture of her. He doesn't know what she looks like, but he was like, from just the description of what he was hearing, he said it was big back behavior. But you mean, I hear a lot of big back behavior. Does she have a big back? She do. She do give Sheila that was driving up the mountain. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she, she Sheila did. was beautiful though. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. You talked about the big back, yeah, not big the face. Back. Yeah, she, right, she's right. cool. What's your thing with big back? No, I'm just saying, because in a situation like this, some of you big backs, y'all got to stop being so thirsty for a man. There's a man out there for you. Okay. This woman believed all of this because she wanted to believe all of this. Big back belief? Mm-hmm. Isn't like everybody else's belief. Mm-hmm. Okay, she said it herself. He mm-hmm. said everything I wanted to hear. Yeah. She wanted to believe whatever was she coming out of his mouth. Be- and I'm not gonna go into everything that Risa Tisa was talking about. She got a whole 50 part series on TikTok. You could go hear about how she married some dude who really wasn't what what he said he was, and he was going through some. I mean, he he was going to some leaps and bounds to keep the lies going. Now, I've also heard that he might suffer from some mental health issues, so it's nothing to make light of. But what Risa Tisa was talking about is how she married somebody that she just didn't know, and he didn't end up being what he said he was. And that's the behavior that Charlemagne referred to as big back behavior. The backlash that Charlemagne received was some people was like, well, this happens to women of all sizes, shapes, colors, creeds. <laughs> Spotlight Risa Tisa, who did happen to be a heavy set woman. I don't know if that means Charlemagne was right, but to single her out as if this is unique to her and people of only her type, I think that's wrong. And I think Charlemagne knows that's wrong. But to, to label it as being big back behavior is, you know, he's making a joke. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's in the moment. It's kind of like, like I said with Meek Mill, you got to get these jokes. That's what people are doing when they're making content. That's what people are doing when they're hosting a radio show. But Risa Tisa didn't like that. And you know what I mean? When she was on Tamron Hall, she she called Charlamagne out. Negative comments have hurt the most, I guess. There was a person, a very famous personality that called me a big bag, mm. talking about my weight. And so it's things like that that I'm like, Jesus, you know, I'm, I can already admit I'm self-conscious, you know, as a, as a heavier woman. I feel like how I look should not dictate whether or not I deserve what I went through. That was that was disappointing, and it was and it was hurtful, especially the the one that was the more famous um, personality. Because again, I'm I'm more than just my weight. Serious XM's Kiki Monique decided to comment on it, saying Charlotte made in a comment referring to the fact that Risa Tisa is desperate, essentially, and the reason she's desperate is because she's a big girl. It's 2024. Can we get some new material? The whole narrative that big girls are so desperate. Here's the gag, babe. Have you ever met these cleat chasers out here chasing these athletes? Some of the most fit, put together, plastic surgery thin women ever. And you want to know the thirst level that these cleat chasers have? You would never catch my big back ass <laughs> acting that way. But see, like, she's able to use the term big back and know it's a joke. Anybody that, that hears it gonna know it's a joke. So I feel for, like, Risa Tisa to really get offended by it. That might be something more deeper than just Charlamagne pointing it out. And it just so happens that he's on a platform that's gonna amplify it. But, you know, maybe she was called that in other lights. Nobody wants to be called something that they don't agree with or that they don't like about themselves, I should say. Um, they don't want that highlighted. They don't want that pointed out. Well, it's also a point where we got to face facts. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Not to refer back to the Meek Mill thing, but you know what I mean? You did pose in a picture with Diddy and a midget wearing the same clothes. Like, people going to say some things about that. Risa Tisa, you're not the smallest chick out there. <laughs> some people might want to point that out. It's, and is it mean? Yes. Is it a fact? Yes. But it's also about the power that it has is how you react to it. And you can't give it that power. And if it really does have that type of power to ruin your day or hurt your feelings, and you have the ability, I don't know if Risa Tisa does or not, or if anybody out there, if, if you're not handicapped and you got the ability, go get it. Go work out. So be like, yo, these jokes are stopping. You know what I mean? Eat differently. Like, do something. I know I'm saying it like it's easy. You know what I mean? Trust me, I got my own weight struggles too. But I'm also not going to start crying on Tamara Hall if somebody would have pointed out. I'd be like, yo... 
I did smash that bag of tortilla chips last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I could have skipped that brownie. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to come to a point of just realization of uh, self-realization, people, and, and knowing that, like, yo, you probably was desperate, Risa Tisa. I don't think that's nothing to do with how you look, your weight, your size, nothing like that. But I think that's more so of an issue that I think needs to be addressed in terms of the story that she's telling. Because as, as wild as it sounded hearing, I'm imagining it was much wilder living. Also got to give a shout out to Charlamagne because he did apologize for his comments and he didn't have to. He really didn't have to because I don't think he meant it to hurt her feelings or even about her specifically. But uh, being a bigger person in that scenario, he definitely stepped to the, the plate and, and, and gave his apologies and saying sorry. And that's that's big. Listen. Mm -hmm. Uh, all jokes aside, I tell y'all all the time, mm -hmm. the easiest way to keep your own peace is to not disturb the peace of others. Mm -hmm. uh, I disturbed that woman's peace, and that wasn't my intention. So I apologize if my words made her feel that way. That's something that people got to do. Because Charlemagne does push mental health. Charlemagne does push the importance of that. So to know that you're like, could be accused of bullying, you know that, to, to know that you're being accused of messing with somebody's mental health, not only does that mess with the brand, but I think that just mess, messed with his conscience. And uh, he he definitely apologized to Risa Tisa. So shout out to him. Um, and shout out to Risa Tisa. You're going to bounce back, girl. Hopefully this 15 minutes of fame make you some money. Perfect Talk is what it do. It's your guy DJ Playboy holding it down for the Perfect Talk podcast, man. Thank you so much for checking out this short clip. If you like what you see, go check out the full episodes right there. Also hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, hop in the comments, baby.